Bunny. Yes. We live in a fucked up country. Oh, my Lord. Yes. Really fucked up. So like much, a- so much so that there are certain things that happen in this country that are fucked up that that can't get our attention. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, that's fucked yeah. up. Let's let's just let's just go on. There's more. <laughs> it's it's like we live, we are characters in a long running sitcom, but now the creator and the showrunner have left the show. Yes. So we're in that so we're in that bizarre kooky last season where everything's weird and shit and it's not as good as it was before. Yeah, definitely. Like Roseanne America, winning the lottery or Seinfeld on trial. So I think what you're really trying to say here is is America is blossom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or or America is the last pre Netflix season of Gilmore Girls. Yes. See, at first you think, hey, me too, Black Lives Matter, society is becoming less sexist, combating racism. People are realizing that pot, you know, smoking that once won't automatically make you kill your family. Yeah. Wow, it looks like society is actually progressing and getting their heads out of their asses. Wow, things are going to be okay. Happy mm-hmm. face rainbow. But but and then but once you th- poof, fascist regime. There you yeah. go. Once you think that things are okay, that things are doing kind of sort of good, once you think that, then the ignorant red state ass faces show up and start using the Bible to justify being a fucking douche waffle. Yeah. And your happy face rainbow is suddenly an emaciated dog with its ears chopped off that's been tied to a radiator. Yes. In Florida. Yes. Did that happen? However, it is important to know just what these ass faced douche waffles are up to. So let's keep an ever watchful eye on the world of ass faces with right wing news smatterings. Right. Nice. Oh. This took me three days to write because it made me so depressed. This is this is an this is a segment with real promise. Yeah. So let's start this tour through hideousness that will no doubt upset you with a a, a look at child marriage. Yes. Hey. Human Rights Watch stated in October of 2017 that fucking Afghanistan uh-huh. has has tougher child marriage laws than parts of the United States. <laughs> It's our Cur- culture. Currently, 25 states have no minimum age requirement for marriage as long as either there's parental approval or there's judicial approval or in cases of pregnancy. So in 25 states, basically, you can get married at any age. In Florida, over 16,000 children have been married since the year 2000. And here's the here's the the real fucked up part. Yeah. In Tennessee in 2001, judges allowed 3 10-year-old girls to marry. Oh god. Just in the year 2001, the courts in Tennessee allowed 3 10-year-old girls to marry cuz in Tennessee, marrying a 10-year-old girl is totes fine as long as there aren't any gays or blacks around. Yeah. Mhm. So then, so then Tennessee, so then Tennessee is like, okay, maybe we should try, you know? Yeah. Maybe we should actually try. So Tennessee recently wrote a law that would ban child marriage, right? Right? Right. There's got to be a catch. It's, oh, yeah. Uh, no, it got buried. It didn't get, it didn't die, but... Uh, they sent it to summer study in a subcommittee, which means it's <laughs> essentially dead. Nothing comes out of a summer study subcommittee. Yeah. You know, the House Majority Leader, uh, a Republican, shocker, uh, sent the anti-child marriage law to the summer study in a subcommittee, and here's the reason why. Basically, the House Majority Leader in the Tennessee. Uh, house he said 
look, Tennessee is against child marriage, but here's why we can't pass this law. Yeah. See, the real problem is gays have the right to marry. And we, as Tennesseans, we can't have that. So we're working really hard to try and uh, take away rights from evil gay people whom we all hate in Tennessee. But if we pass this child marriage law, that might harm our chances to pass an anti-gay law. And that's the important thing. We got to make sure that gays Uh don't have the ability to marry. And uh, this whole child marriage thing might hurt that. So we have to kill the child marriage law so we can pass the good law getting rid of gay people. Yes. There are priorities, you know. Yeah. So in Tennessee, marrying an eight-year-old is fine as long as there's no gays around. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now let's, let's... Let's move on from child marriage and discuss immigration, another fun topic for yes. us to focus on here on the podcast. Bunny, thank you. Go ahead. Is, I, 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 I keep worrying someone's setting uh, fireworks in your house. <laughs> and I keep getting scared for you and your safety. But hey, if that's the way you want to record the podcast, you know, far be it for me to throw stones. No, it was Spider Solitaire because, uh, oh, gotcha. uh, like I like I thought it wouldn't be making noise because the podcast is not running through it. Yeah, it's running through the tablet like last week, but no, it's still making plenty of noise. So no, that's that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about immigration. Um. Thank fucking God I was born in America. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And thank God my parents are both legal American citizens. My dad came to America legally and and and, and did everything by the books, and, and now he's a legal American citizen. And thank God, because the Trump administration has, ba- has gone to Immigrations and Customs Enforcement ICE and said, hey, you guys have carte blanche. No one's tying you down. Mm-hmm. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Whatever you've always wanted to do, go for it. So ICE has cranked up enforcement of kicking brown people out of the country. And yeah. occasionally Irish. And occasionally Irish people. And and they are going hard, too. Just separating families. So sending people who are essentially Americans, have lived here as Americans for 20 years and 30 years and 40 years, sending them back to countries they no longer know. Yes, That's but, crazy. but they are still taking that stop off at the pay-for prisons. Let's not forget that. They're not, yes. They're yes, not going awesome. straight to, they're not going straight to their home country, so they are going to prison. Yeah. People who have not committed yeah. a crime because being an undocumented alien is not a crime. It's a civil offense. We are sending people, taxpayers, who have not yeah. committed a crime to prison. Yeah. Veterans. Yeah. Sending them. People who go to court because they were victims of, of violence. And then, uh, you know, it's like, oh, I've been beaten by my husband and it's like great well uh we're gonna try this oh wait you're illegal bye yeah and in one case actually going into a hospital and taking a sick kid from the hospital and sending them back to another country just the cruelty of it is jaw-dropping we used to be a compassionate nation and now there's video on facebook of ICE literally violently grabbing a 39-year-old mom and throwing her in a van right in front of her own kids. Yeah. They're walking down Mm -hmm. the street, and ICE just pulls up, er, grabs the woman, throws her in the van, takes off. What happens to the kids? Well, um, they're now orphans, is, is what happens now. Yeah. Literally just rip the parents 
from this kid in front of this kid and left these underage children in the middle of the street, you know? Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. What is going on right now? And there's a portion of the population that's okay with this. Yes. Okay. Now, yes. How, how do you how do you make a distinction between this and and Jews being thrown into trucks and put on trains and all that shit? What is yeah, the fucking um, difference? Yeah, Donald Trump was in California to to look at prototypes of the wall. And yeah. while he was there, there were people protesting Donald Trump. And then there were people counter-protesting the protesters, and I saw some video of this. And literally, it's just a bunch of angry white people burning Mexican flags. Like, what does that have to... What, first off, what the fuck has Mexico ever actually done to you? You yeah. know? I mean, really. Yeah. It's ridiculous. The worst you could say is, well, undocumented immigrants come out of Mexico a lot. and Yeah, and Julio Iglesias. Mm -hmm. That's like the worst you could fucking say. Yeah, possibly the worst thing that we got out of Mexico was was possibly Guillermo del Toro's Blade 2. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the first one, and I remember that the third one had Triple H in it, and I remember nothing else. Yeah, I'm okay with the Blade movies. I, again, that comes in the category of what exactly do you expect? Oh yeah, I yeah. loved the first one. That was that was that was that was good. I, I'm down with all three. Nice. And then there's America's most useless white woman, Betsy DeVos. Oh, isn't she precious? Yeah. She had an interview recently with 60 Minutes. So here's the basics on Betsy DeVos, BDV. Yeah. She's the Secretary of Education in charge of our nation's public schools, and she is also the ultra-rich wife of the CEO of Amway, who has a ton of money invested in private and charter schools. Mm -hmm. As such, she, like all of Trump's, all of the people that Trump has assigned to a position, she is slowly but surely destroying the position and destroying how schools work Mm -hmm. from within. So she's on 60 Minutes, and Jesus fucking Christ, she seemed to lack basic knowledge of her job and, and what school was. And how schools work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how schools and how schools in her own state work after implementing some of the plans that she wants in her state. Yeah. Okay. Like like everything that she's done to the country that she wants to do to the country, she has already done to Michigan. And that's kind of what 60 Minutes was pointing out. It's like have you looked at the Michigan schools? This is not working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she uh she 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 discussed her her plans to scrap an Obama era rule that would fix discrimination in schools. She once again stood up for rapists. Did she? I missed that part. Yeah, she said she wasn't sure if there were more uh people who have reported uh, sexual assault uh, if there were more of that then there were people who were falsely accused of a sexual assault uh-huh yeah she wasn't sure if there was more of one or more of the other okay then if you're not sure here's a here's a tip keep your fucking mouth shut until you are yeah you know my, she said a quote, and it it, it, it blew my mind because she specifically said, quote, well, we should be funding and investing in students, not in school, school buildings, not institutions, not in the not in systems. So basically, Betsy DeVos thinks that when people say we should invest in schools, she thinks, oh, no, we shouldn't throw 
uh, wads of cash at a building? Yeah. No. And no. That's that's only because she doesn't. That's only because she doesn't follow Nasdaq. Yeah. Yeah. It's like she finally realized. Oh, okay. I know a lot about education. For example, school buildings have students in them. Did you know that? <laughs> You know, she's so precious. Yeah. She, and then she was asked. I I, about, I, I, I really want to see her and uh, Sarah Palin play Jeopardy together. I do. Yeah. It's a fantasy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'd like to see her match wits with Ben Carson. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. Because Ben is the man too. Ben, you got to, you got to give it to Ben, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Pyramids are just grain storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D- d- yeah. It's true, Ben. Don't worry about it. But now the White House is pissed at Betsy DeVos. Yeah. And why is the White House pissed at Betsy DeVos? Because she did the worst thing that you can do in Trump's eyes. She looked foolish on television. Yes. That's the worst thing. It- that's the. This can be a baby. <laughs> this. There you go, Bella. It can. Use that as a baby. She'll Thank like it. You. I love you. Yeah, being looking foolish baby? on television is worse than actually doing a horrible thing in the eyes of the Trump administration. Yes. So she doesn't know what her job is, and she's ru- ruining our schools. Meanwhile, a massive amount of schools in Oklahoma have cut down to four-day school weeks. Oh, man. Also, studies show that Oklahoma loses roughly 383 teachers a month because there's just no money for teachers in Oklahoma. Oh, man. At all. And that's the problem when Republicans and Tea Partiers are in charge of your state because they say, we, we, we've been elected to, to, to run this state based on our promise. No new taxes. Mm-hmm. And we will not be raising your taxes. And then suddenly... People just go, okay, well, um, we have no money for health services. We have no money for education. We, we have no money for schools. Our schools are crumbling. In Seminole, Oklahoma, our schools are literally crumbling. Yeah. So so, so uh, we need money for schools. And, and then the people in charge of the state go, great, well, good luck finding that. <laughs> Pray for it. And then they it. say, but wait. But wait, can't you just give us money? Well, uh, no, we can't because we are out of money and we can't raise any because, hey, no new taxes. <laughs> so so we're just we're just broke. We're, we're just the state's absolutely broke. A number of states are broke. And like I did a joke at story time. It was the story time that I read. Um, uh, who was it? Uh, Harriet Tubman, that Harriet Tubman oh, book yes. for Black History Month. I I was saying like, hey, kids, um, I'm supposed to read this book today, and I'm pretty sure I will, but I'm not 100% sure I will. Let me be honest with you. This book is about Harriet Tubman, and this is an important book, and it's an important story. It's an important story, and, and I... And I, I think that you should learn this. It's just that this book deals very openly and honestly and frankly about racism and violence and uh slavery and those are all topics that i am uncomfortable teaching to you because they don't pay me enough to teach three-year-olds this Mm -hmm. i'm not a teacher but then i thought and i i did it in front of the kids i i said but wait a second we live in oklahoma do i get paid more than a teacher (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i probably get paid more than a teacher does here i i would bet you do yeah that is so wrong yeah so so that's that's it that's it for this segment i don't have a funny ending to this to uh right-wing news smatterings because there is no funny happy ending unless you're the 33 percent of americans who still support the racist reality tv show host who has imposed more sanctions on porn stars yes than he has on the even than he has on the evil foreign nation that has hacked our fucking election so let's just move on 
Well, 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 let's let's not forget we 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 should bring if we're going to be doing this, we should bring up Rex Tillerson. Yes. Rex Tillerson and his brother Fido Tillerson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his uncle Spot Tillerson. And those I, are the three Tillersons. I, I find I find this uh particularly interesting because this is the first real time that I saw the young Turks call something right. Not to say that they're wrong, but but for them to flat out say, here's what's going to happen next, and that's what happened next. Because yeah. what they were reporting on is, see, now this whole time, Rex Tillerson and Vladimir Putin have been have had an oil deal that they've been trying to put through. Okay? Okay. And that's basically okay. why Tillerson was made Secretary of State, so that he can remove the sanctions that are stopping that oil deal. Okay? Yeah. So now yeah. what happened at the end of last week, the week before, the week before he got fired, um, is oil prices have dropped, which, okay, so basically the Russians need the technology that Exxon Oil has to be able to get this oil out of the ground, okay? And then with yeah. the drop in oil prices, Putin was finally like, okay, well, it's it's not worth doing now. It's going to cost us more to get the oil than we'll make. So he called yeah. the deal off. So that's when the young Turks said, okay. said watch it, Rex Tillerson's going to be gone. That's it. That's the only reason he was there. Is to is to get the sanctions lifted and get the deal put through so that they could both make money. So the deal falls. Yeah. The deal falls through, and Trump fires him. But what's really kind of yeah. interesting is is that I don't I don't believe that. Okay, Trump fired him. Yeah, but Trump didn't fire him. Fire him. Okay, Trump fired him. Because Rex Tillerson started mouthing off about the Russians. The deal is broke. Yes. He is pissed off now. You know? Yeah. So he starts spouting off about the Russians and what they're doing and how it's horrible and we must stop them in the hardest way, of which many Republicans agree with that, which yeah. I'm kind of happy to hear. But but that was, that was like... The, uh, as far as I could see, that was Rex saying, I I'm not going to quit. I'm going to make him fire me. Yeah. Because he fires anybody who starts saying shit about Russia. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's fucked up that... Our president would rather attack his own government mm -hmm. than attack a foreign country. Yeah. The president is at war with the FBI and the CIA, which is ridiculous. Yeah, totally. Although, to be fair, I can't wait for Space Force. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be excited. I hope we get lasers that go pew pew. I know. Okay. If there are pew. no if there are no lasers and, like, that go pew pew, body. it's not worth it. Yeah, and like silvery full body jumpsuits. Yeah. Okay. Pew pew pew. That's going to be that's going to be rad. Yeah. Can we can we get like the Mario Wait, did you say letter? Okay. Can we get like the All Mario right. Bava leather football helmet things? Yes. Uh huh. Yes, very much so. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah. 